So a little over five months ago, I uploaded my latest what's on my phone video, which featured the setup you're currently seeing on screen. Now I said in that video that if it reached 4,000 likes, I would create a step-by-step -step instructional video unpacking exactly how to replicate this setup on your own phone. And well, about a month or so ago, the video finally ticked over 4,000 likes. And so here we are. What you might not know is that even though it was August of last year that I posted that video, pretty much that exact setup is still what I rock on my daily driver. So with that said, let's dive in and set this thing up. So as mentioned in that original video, the launcher that I'm using for this home screen setup is LaunchAir version two. And for over a year now, this has remained my launcher of choice. So we're gonna start with how LaunchAir looks straight out of the box. This is the default setup when you first install it. And let's jump into our settings and get everything here set up correctly first. So let's go from top to bottom in each of these settings, starting with the theme section. For our icon pack, we're gonna take the Crichton icon pack and drag this upwards into the enabled section. Then we'll head back, we'll tap on the theme down here, and I like to set the theme based on daylight, which means once it's dark outside, the theme goes dark. Now that's all of the settings that I change in the theme menu. So let's head back and then navigate into the desktop page. So firstly, I set my grid size to 10 by six, then I enabled the overlapped placement option, and I also enabled the hide app names option as well. From there, I changed my icon size to 77%, and I also disabled the add icon to home screen option. Then down below that, I leave most of these settings as is, but I do enable wide widgets, and I disable the top shadow as well. Then we head back into the home widget menu, and here all I do is switch this off as I replace this with a custom widget a little later on. Then under the dock settings page, I turn on the shadow and then I change the dock scale to 75% and I also disable the page indicator setting. A bit lower on this page and here I change the number of icons from five to three and then I disable the dock search bar as well. Now heading into the app drawer page, I firstly bring down the icon size to 77% to match the size of the icons on the desktop. Then I'll usually select a number of apps to hide, but we'll skip that for now. And a bit below that is where I disable the display app suggestions option as well, which will become important later on. After that on our search page, the only setting I change here is right down the bottom and I switch this color setting from follow theme to light. Then on the gestures page, I've got one gesture that I always tend to set up regardless of the setup I'm using, which is the double tap to launch a global search gesture. And I enable this mainly because I've disabled the search bar in the dock. The other gestures I leave as is. Now I can't actually remember whether this next setting is only for those who have a rooted device and who are using quick switch to set launch air as the default launcher. But regardless, I then head into this recents menu and disable the blur background option as it's known to cause launch air to use more memory if it's switched on. And I don't really care for the blurry look anyway. I used to also set this corner rounding option to 8DP, but this setting actually no longer works, at least on the latest launch air builds that are made for Android 10. Okay, and that is it for all of our base settings within the launch air settings menu. And now we can head back to our home screen to start getting everything in place. So the first thing to do is to remove the default widget and all of the default icons on the home screen. So we've got a clean slate for setting things up. Then we'll go about setting up our weather widget. So we'll long press our screen and enter the widgets menu. Then we'll navigate all the way down to KWGT. And I'm just gonna select a two by two widget here. And I'll drag this to the middle upper portion of my home screen. Then I'll long press the widget and increase the size of both of the sides just a little bit. Now we'll tap on the blank widget and we'll enter into the KWGT settings page. Now the weather widget I use is a customized widget from the Huck for KWGT widget pack, which I will of course link below. And it's a widget called Free019. So we'll tap on that and we'll be taken into the page where we can start customizing the widget to make it look how we want it to. Okay, so we'll first tap on this overlap group option here. And then in that menu, we'll select the top overlap group and the bottom stack group and we'll delete both. So we're left with just the stack group that was in the middle. Then we'll tap on that stack group and then on the Google Now Weather option and we'll scale that down to 150. We'll then head back twice to the first stack group page and move over to the position page and move the Y offset up so that the widget now sits in the middle. Then we'll tap the save icon and come back to our home screen to quickly check how things are looking. I'm happy with that so far, so I'll tap the widget again and this time I'll navigate to the touch panel and tap this option here. Then I'll tap the top menu and select launch app. We'll now get an app picker below that. So I'll tap that and navigate down to the frog weather application. Then I'll hit save again. And if we come back to our home screen, you'll see that tapping on the widget now launches straight into the Google weather feed. 
All right, with that completed and out of the way, it's time to start loading the various app icons onto our home screen. So I like to place the apps on my desktop in a four by two configuration, which I've become obsessed with for some reason. And then once I've got them laid out like that, I like to also have my podcasting application on my home screen, but I obviously don't want to interrupt this neat pattern that I've got set up. So I do so by somewhat hiding it in a folder underneath the Spotify icon here. So I'll grab the app that I want, drag it over the Spotify icon to create a folder. Then I'll tap on the folder and then the little three dot icon here in the corner and I'll switch on cover mode, which essentially means Spotify is the app that will show up on the home screen and that will launch when I tap on it. But if I swipe up on the Spotify icon, it will open that folder, which is a neat little feature I enjoy using. Okay, now we're gonna create that folder icon that shows up in the dock. So I'll grab all of the different applications I want to include in that folder. And I like to put them on the desktop first because it seems a little less finicky to put them in the folder this way. Then I'll move it onto the dock. Then I'll open it and tap on the little three dot icon here as well. I'll tap on the folder icon at the top, then tap on candy cons and select this little white dot draw icon up the top here. And that's it for this folder and this first home page as well. You can see because my phone is rooted and I'm using the quick switch module, that folder icon even stays in the recents panel as well, which is super convenient. And this is why we had to disable that display app suggestions option earlier. Otherwise, this folder icon would not stay in the recents menu. So let's now take a look at how I set up that calendar widget on our second home page. We'll first long press our home screen and enter the widgets menu. And again, scroll down to the KWGT section. And again, I'm gonna select a two by two option and hold and drag this onto a second page. Then I'll resize it so it fills the entire bottom third or even just a little bit bigger of the screen. Okay, let's tap on it. And from here, the calendar widget that I start with is taken from the Sun and C for KWGT widget pack. And the one I use is about halfway down and it's called SNS 044. So we'll tap on that and then we'll select the overlap group and then the bottom object here labeled MM. And then we'll go ahead and delete it. So we're left with just the calendar portion of the widget. Then we'll navigate to the position tab and move the Y offset up so it sits in the middle. Okay, now if we head back to our first page with the overlap group option visible, we're gonna tap on this overlap group, then on the component option here, and then we'll navigate over to the touch menu. From here, we need to click on where it says launch app. And again, tap on the launch app option at the top. And in this menu, select launch activity. Now we can tap the activity option below that and scroll down to the month calendar widget section, and we'll go ahead and tap on it. And from this drop down list, we wanna select the middle option that ends with date info activity. So tap that, save the widget, head back to your home screen. And now when you tap the calendar widget, it will open up the month calendar widget overlay, which I really like because it means we get the best of both worlds. A super minimal looking calendar widget to suit the rest of the setup. And then a really functional calendar overlay that allows you to quickly see upcoming events. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I do also like to hide a bunch of apps that I don't need direct access to from showing up in the app drawer. So I'm gonna navigate back into the launch air settings and then into the app drawer section. Then I'll come down and tap on hide apps and go through my list and hide any apps I don't wanna see in my app drawer, which as you can see, cleans it up beautifully. But if I do need quick access to one of the apps that I've hidden, then I can always use the search bar in the app drawer, which will still reveal hidden apps. But that is it for my home screen setup. I hope this has been helpful in getting your own home screen setup to look like mine. And if there are any issues, definitely feel free to drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to hit you up with a response. Aside from that, thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.